selling out on our on our first day back, our first weekend back. 1,800 tickets sold, um, and it's lovely to see so many community members here. I, I think the return to operations of the Zigzag Railway is, is going to be an astronomical impact to the community, and I, I think it's going to just be absolutely fantastic for the region. What's this for? Where are we going on the TV? Do you like <laughs> travelling on steam trains? I do. I've been travelling on steam trains for quite some years. My Both my boys are heavily involved in the zigzag, have been since they were very young boys. Both of them are actually on this, driving the train today. Wow! So I'm very proud. Yeah. Very proud. Very happy that it's, it's, it's back on. It's finally, it's finally happening. Yeah. After a lot, a lot of hard work and tears and struggles and all sorts and of drugs. As I was saying to Antoinette before, this is a bit of a blast from the past for us because we used to bring our kids up here um, when it was operating before and we had a great time and it's just wonderful now. And I remember doing it as a child as well with my family. So it's a great thing to be starting again. Uh, our volunteers are our uh, heart and soul of our business here and our cooperative, our organisation. Uh, and uh, we definitely owe them a, a huge shout out and a big tribute. And this is their railway. See what I've been spending all my time doing you know, during the middle of the week and weekends and stuff. So, yeah, it's good. So, welcome, Zigzag Adrian. Um, what brings you here and what's, why do you enjoy this so much? G'day, thanks, John. Uh, my family's originally from the Blue Mountains, and so Zigzag's always been a part of our family's story. When I finished school, I decided that I wanted to start volunteering and be involved with steam trains again. So I joined up as a member in 2021 and then as a volunteer in 2022. And then the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in 2019 and over the years, we lost about 3,000 timber sleepers on our purway. Uh, we had to replace all of them. Our viaducts and our major structures have been repaired. Our buildings and our precincts have been rebuilt and repaired. Our engines and our rolling stock have all been done. We've, we've essentially rebuilt the railway. And what brings you to Zigzag? I volunteer um, and also to spend time with my husband who also volunteers on Zigzag. And what do you volunteer doing? I work in the shop. Um, so I help people check in and get their little cardboard tickets that they need to get onto the train and help sell merchandise and answer phones and any questions people may have. And I see you're doing a very special job at the minute. Yes, we had a lovely elderly couple come in with their little puppy today um, and unfortunately the public aren't allowed to bring their pets onto the zigzag railway so I have volunteered to babysit the little puppy for a little while. Hello Kate and Christian, Hi. how are we going? Oh, super excited. Very well, are you up here for the first run of our official yeah, yeah. Yeah, opening, yes. Um, and what, where are you from and what brings you up here? We've come all the way from Katoomba. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, that's nice and close, but that's the... Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's it. yeah. Oh, we've been waiting, waiting um, for the day, yeah. And what brings you over, brings you into this, to ride the steam train? Oh, it's just such a Just special. love a good steam train ride. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a, one, it's a wonderful thing. Zigzag yep. particularly, yeah. and, the, yep. and just you know, just so feel for all the hard-working volunteers that have, you know, all the stuff that's gone on in the last. Yeah, it's been it's de been a decade or so. It's been a decade of rebuilding, but yeah. yes, we've we've finally got there. Oh, you're amazing! Yeah. Absolutely. I think there was more than one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the world threw everything it had at us in a in a bad way sometimes, and um, you know, bushfires and floods and everything else that came with it and we just we just kept persevering and we kept going and I think it's the best story of resilience for 2023. Good morning, very well and very happy and excited to be here on Zigzag's Grand Reopening Day. And what's your involvement with today? So I began at the railway in 2007 and continued until 2012 and today I'm Clarence Signaler on our Grand Reopening Day. The Clarence Signaler manages train movements within the yard. So the arrival and departure of trains, the crossing of trains, keeping trains and passengers safe and ensuring that trains depart on time. Well, we're part of the local news from Orange, so we've, we've covered this area for a long time. Um, we've actually been covering Zigzag Railway, like we actually used footage from the 1970s last night on the news. So we've been covering it for a long time. I've been here, I brought my kids here when, I was, when they were younger, you know, 20, 30 years ago we were here. Um, so it's just great to see it back up and running after all the problems that we've had over the last 10 years. 
and we've been here at different times, been here through the fires and seen the, the, um, the havoc that that caused with the, the sheds and all that sort of thing. I remember walking through there and seeing just how much was lost and how much you guys lost. And just to see it back up and running now after all that time, it's great. Our, our workshop is our, is our heart and soul of our railway. It's, it's where we work on our rolling stock and our locomotives. And uh, it would have been very difficult to get to where we are today, uh, working in the rain and the snow without a roof over our heads. Absolutely, yeah. What brings you to this smoking ceremony? Can you describe the meaning of the smoking ceremony and what it means to zigzag to having this here today? Well, for me, it's quite significant. Um, as a local person, like I grew up riding the Zigzag Railway, um, it's one of our, you know, significant icons. But because of the um, the event that we all went through here with the Black Summer bushfires, and I could see the need for the reopening of the Zigzag to have a special blessing. And because you're here in Wiradjuri country. Um, it's appropriate for us as Rajri people in our culture to look after and to look after things that matter. So to look after the train and to give it a special blessing for a safe journey for its future endeavours, um, that really matters. So hopefully after today's ceremony, um, we'll have safe travels on, on our zigzag railway. Uh, and but mate, when you're not behind the mic, um, you're in the signal box, what else do you do? I do a bit of operational. I've been, I've been making my way through the operational side of things. Um, so my next avenue is guard, and trying to get into the guard vans. And after that, I would like to become steam, steam train driver. But you know, that's going to be a little while off yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, mate, they uh, they tell me you can also be seen around the shop at times as well. Is that true? I am seen around the shop. Yes, and I believe I've finally taught my wife into being part of the shop and how's she going in there? Mate, uh, you, your wife is a star. Uh, yeah, it was absolutely important and I think it's been a dramatic improvement. You know, people ask what's changed uh, from how we used to operate to how we operate now. Um, and, and things like our beautiful car park out here that allows us to get everyone in safely and, and house everyone's cars and, and our workshop and, and, and everything that's come with it has absolutely been uh, instrumental to where we are today. Mm. What have you enjoyed about being with Zigzag? Oh, everything, everything. The camaraderie, the um, getting my hands dirty again, that's the main thing, just fixing trains up and stuff. And coming here on a day like this and seeing the faces, the smile on people's faces. That's and it, what's that's your it. involvement? I'm uh, learning to be a signaller, but I'm also a, um, a carriage, carriage worker as well. Uh, this is our AC16 uh, 218 locomotive. It's a Baldwin built locomotive built in uh, 1943 and uh, her nickname is The Yank. So you'll, uh, you'll hear us coming from a mile away. <laughs>